This is a solution to the Egyptian coin trade puzzle. This puzzle has a frame with four channels inside and 18 tokens or sliding blocks in three different colors. These blocks can slide within the channel and if you take a close look at the channels you see that they, there is an inner cutout that gets narrower and narrower to the end and the sliding blocks have a similar layout so that their movement is restricted so the front piece in each row can only go to the front position in each channel it can't move further than this you see some markings here these bronze pieces have a bronze marking here, the golden pieces have a silver marking here, the silver pieces have a gold marking here and the goal of the puzzle is to correct this and slide the silver pieces into this channel and the golden pieces into this uh, this channel here and this channel here can be used as an auxiliary channel one of the main moves to achieve that will be um, that we can swap pieces actually. So if we move this piece here then we can interchange the order of these two pieces and now you see this piece doesn't go in as much as this but that will be helpful to put them in there in the right order. The solution I'm going to show is quite a simple one. It focuses on one color of pieces at a time. So first we will put all the silver pieces into the top channel. Then the golden pieces will be moved into this right channel. And then finally the silver pieces from the top channel will be moved into the silver channel. So the first stage will be to move the silver pieces into this channel. We use this junction in the middle to swap adjacent pieces. To move this piece over here, it needs to move past all those. So it needs to be swapped with them at some point in time. So our main goal is to swap these two pieces. For this to happen, all those have to be up there. Now there is a kind of a recursive approach. That means we need to swap this with all of those and move it up here. So our next goal is to swap these two. Let's get those two out of the way so that we can swap these two. So first of all we will um, move this down here and this night piece up here. So this configuration we keep for swapping. So now we can swap those two pieces in this way. If we move them back, we see that the grooves are working against us, so we can't move them further down than this. Now we swap the knight and this crown shape piece by doing it like that. Then we can move this here, that's basically swapping the knight with this bishop piece. So now the situation is that we only have those two we wanted to swap, so move this to the corner position in the corner turn uh, injunction and then move this there past that and then move both back we have to deal with all the other pieces before we can actually do with, deal with this piece so now we want to reverse what we've done down up here so we move these pieces here then swap those pieces. That's needed because we now want to swap those two adjacent pieces and want to get them out of the way. They are taking too much space so we swap those two pieces, put them there and now we can swap the ankh shaped piece with the crown shaped piece like that. Now get those pieces out of the way again swapping them first then swapping the ankh for the bishop piece 
on the other side. And now we can move the ankh to its intermediate goal position like this. So now we'll continue this. This needs to be swapped with that, so those two need to get out of the way. We swap those two, put them back into their channel even further up than before. So now these two need to be swapped with that one. We know how to do this. We park this here, swap these two, and swap that with a night piece. So now we can move this up here. Now we can swap those two. Um, let's be a bit lazy to put the night piece here. These are in the right order for getting up here. And so we are done with the silver channel now. So this is um, moving the silver pieces up here. In the next stage, we are going to move the golden pieces into the golden uh, channel which is the target position for them. We're using this junction here, this T-junction for swapping pieces again. Like before, this needs to be swapped with all the pieces, so the first intermediate goal will be swapping those two. For this, these four need to go away. And for that, recursively, we apply the same logic. We have to swap those two, so this can get out of the way and into there. So we move these two out of the way and to our first swapping action. So how does it work? We use the junction to swap those two and oops, I put that there. So now we see we have the junction that we can use for swapping use like that way. Put the first piece in there. Move that second piece past and move them back. So now they have swapped. They don't go in down all the way anymore. Now we need to swap the crown piece with the knight piece. So move that there. Do the swap. And now we can move the crown to its position. Then the next one will be the bishop. So we need to swap those two here. Move the knight out of the way. Move the bishop here move them back, move this out of the way, and we have basically moved those four pieces down here. So now what we can do is move those two pieces up here to swap them. So we are swapping them and it's in the second last position now, or third last rather, and the eye of Ra or what it is, it's in the last one. So now we need to move those back to swap the ank with all those pieces. So what we do is similar to before. We first will swap um, the bishop and the knight, then the queen piece with the crown, the king piece, I don't know, then um, those two. Now we can get the knight out of the way again and we can bring those two pieces here into the right orientation. Now they're in the right orientation. Now we want to put the knight and the bishop away into our storage to the right. So we swap those two. Move them here. Move them out of the way and now we can finally swap the Ankh with the Queen token. So we just do it like this. Okay. Then we move this down here. Again we want to swap the Ankh with the other pieces so they have to be in the right order again. So we have ordered them in the right order now. Get rid of the knight piece so we can do our swapping action down here. Move the bishop out of the way. 
move the egg past, move the bishop back. So now they are swapped. Now swap the egg with the knight. And then we can move the egg to its target position down here. So now we need to swap those two. For that, those two need to go away, and that means they need to be reordered or swapped. So we swap them like this, move them here. Now we can finally swap those two. Then we can swap those two again. To make it possible that the I piece the I of uh, can move past this bishop piece. So that's what we're doing now. We are swapping the bishop and the I. Now we are swapping the I and the knight. So the whole solution is basically a whole lot of swapping moves in the right order. So now we have two in the target position. Now this third piece up here goes there. So now we can reorder those two so that they fit down here. And that should solve that part of the solution for us. Still we need to move them past the knight piece, which is working right before. So no surprises there. Finally, bishop and knight get reordered to the right orientation or order, and then we have everything done with the um, gold channel. So in the last stage of the solution we are going to move the silver pieces into the silver channel down here. As before, the last piece up here needs to get into the last position up here, so there is a lot of swapping involved when swapping this piece with the others. Here is our T-junction that we can use for swapping, and basically it is like the phase we have just seen in a very similar way. So we move those pieces down here one by one. First the knight, and then the bishop, we um, change those two, swap those two. Then uh, we move uh, this piece out of the way again. Next piece comes down, which is the crown piece. We just move that there, and then do some swapping action here. To swap those two, the knight goes up here. Then we can swap the crown with the bishop, going down here. Now, those two pieces can be swapped to go down here. Then, next piece is moved downwards. So, we need more space to swap it with all the pieces below, which we are doing in a way like that. Uh, we need more space, so we put the light back up there. Now, the next stage is to Swap the I with the bishop. Then the bishop needs to go away, but the knight is in the way, so we need to swap the knight and the bishop first in the usual way. And put them up here into storage. So now what we can do is we can move the I to the second last position by swapping it with the crown piece before. And then move those two there. Now those are in the way of our last piece, so they need to be moved down. To put them into the lower channel, they need to be swapped. I'm doing that. Then move the eye. Uh, so this piece down there. Then the unk piece finally is moved here. This also needs to be swapped with all the other pieces. And we start with the knight first. After swapping with the knight, we put the knight into our favorite parking position up here. Then we can swap the next two, which is the bishop and the unk. So we just move that there. Now the bishop is in the way for further swapping action. We move it up 
by swapping it with a knight first. So now in the now empty parking space up there, bishop goes up, knight goes up, and this this pawn symbol goes up here. Next is we need to interchange those two, swap them. Now this car needs to be parked up here, same action as before, swap the two pieces to bring them in the right order so that we can actually swap the current piece with each of them. Okay, so now crown and knight need to be swapped and after that, we can um, swap a knight and a bishop, and now have knight, bishop, and crown up here. Now, two pieces can be swapped like this. That unk piece goes into the very last position like here. That's where it belongs. The crown is next. So I only need to move those four down and we know how to do that. Move them down in a succession. And do a lot of swapping moves of course. Next piece comes down, that's the last one we need to put here. For some swapping we need to move the knight out of the way first. Knight goes there. So now we can swap the crown and the knight. This goes down there. This goes down there. This goes out of the way so the knight can go up down there. This can go down there. And what we now have is a solved puzzle. That's it.